What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Let's talk about the API that we were sneak peeked of getting but haven't heard anything about yet. Some of you may be wondering what an API is and why you even care. Oh, trust me, you're going to care whether it's for a positive or a negative reason. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Now, that itself didn't help much, so here's the absolute bare bones explanation for this. Imagine you want to buy 5x3 plus 1 accessories. If you remember those dark days, you remember having to calculate what engravings and the nodes you needed for each accessory making sure that you are getting the best bang for your gold in terms of quality and also malice. This is a nightmare. But now, imagine being able to go to a site, put in exactly what engravings you want and how many nodes you need and malice and quality, etc., etc., and it can scan the market listings that are currently available and find you the combination of accessories that satisfy all your requirements while being the cheapest combination. This is API, the ability to ask it for all sorts of data. So this isn't limited to just the market. We can get data on player base analytics, like character names, guilds, servers, rankings, builds, pretty much everything. At this point, you are either going, oh yeah, give me this tool already, and some of you are going, oh no, my privacy, oh no, I'm basically naked now. So let's talk about the pros and cons to API more in detail. So first off with the pros, there are so many third-party systems and Discord notifications for things like card spawns and island timings and, and whatever else you have to check in the game. These are all obsolete. If you didn't know how the Wandering Merchant third-party tool worked, people had to manually check in the game whether a card spawned and it needed to be voted on for accuracy. That sounds ridiculous and time-consuming to do. With API, no more of that. We can instantly know when anything is coming up from the game. I mentioned the auction house market as well. Everything that has been listed in the auction house can be accessed with API. There could be numerous scenarios where this is a benefit. One is what I mentioned, easily able to calculate the exact accessories you need to buy for your build. What if the auction house doesn't have a specific accessory and you want to check, but you're at work? Now you can scam your work hours to check without logging into the game. API can also provide player base info, like I mentioned. One of the most popular statistics people love to look at is rankings. Korea has access to Lost Ark API and they created this site that I'm going to show you here called loawa.com that has everyone from the Korean server in here and their ranks. So let's take a look at that. So we go to ranking here and you can filter it on class and item level engravings and stuff. I already know that once API comes out and we build a site similar to this, it is going to make Lost Ark a lot more money. So you should probably save your sidereal energies if you have one. Why do I say this? People love to stroke their ego. Look at this. To see their name and character on a website list is probably the biggest achievement they will ever get in their life. So those wallets are going to open up and Esther weapons are going to get quite popular. So for example, let's say you are a, uh, uh, let's see, what's a popular class? Like Deathblade. You see how many Esther users are here? Look at all this. Plus 9, plus 9, plus 8, plus 9. So many Esther users. They want to be at the top of the list. So we're going to see a lot of whales here. Okay. Anyways, this tool will also help us to compare builds. Oh, I didn't know this guy was using this skill or this tripod. Let me check if other people are doing the same. 
Sometimes being able to compare with others has a greater effect than looking at just Lost Ark Nexus guides. For example, in my advanced Soul Eater guide, my secret tech is to bring a second judgment rune on Harvest. Spoiler alert for anyone who didn't watch that video, go check that video out. I don't know how many other Knight's Edge Soul Eaters do this, but now, for example, I can check if I'm the only one. Someone can just look at my build too, see the rune, and go, oh, that's an option, and they can try it out themselves. So I'm going to click on Mr. Wide Vibe over here, if everybody doesn't know who this is. This is Zeal's Ambitions, another Lost Ark creator. But he has, in this skill tab, every information on what kind of rune he puts. So for example, we don't have Poison Rune yet, but now I know, oh, if I'm going to play Deathblade and I'm going to be playing, um, I think this is Remaining Energy, Poison on Turning Slash. And you can also see pretty much every other stat as well, like what gems to put on certain things, and then, you know, the tripods as well. So, I think we talked enough about the pros. It's pretty obvious that data is king. I may be biased as I love data, but it really does help make things easier. There's also probably some good content ideas to do when the API comes out, but I haven't figured out that part yet. More to come in the future. All right, cons now. One major con that I know a lot of people are talking about is lack of privacy. If people can access detailed information about all your characters, see, I think this one shows every single character that Mr. Zeals has, you might feel a little bit naked. Now imagine a company having your social security number, your address, all that stuff, and some entry level worker has access to it. Now Lost Ark info doesn't seem that bad anymore, right? But I get it. Some players prefer to keep their builds and progressions private because with public access to character info, we can move on to the next con, which is gatekeeping. Now there's so many things that you can gatekeep here. We can start off with skills and tripods. Currently, there are cases like Sork, for example, that shouldn't have an explosion cooldown gem. So any Sork with that gem obviously doesn't know their class, which equals gatekeep. But there are things that you can't see, like skills that don't require gems or tripods that aren't shown. Well, bad news for you, now we can see everything. With the API, you can see exactly which skills that character is using for cases where, you know, a soul leader or sorceress doesn't take a counter skill. Now you know, and you can gatekeep them. Maybe they don't have full level 5 tripods on a certain thing. The API sees it all and gives all that information away. So sorry if you were trying to sneak that level 4 tripod on your character, you probably should get level 5 tripods really soon. Titles are also no longer hidden either. Every single achievement title you get can be found. So if you are trying to sneak in a friend who doesn't have Covetous Master, the Light Queller, Eye of Tempest, and they instead put on the usual, you know, green cute title instead, now everyone knows they are full of Shushire and didn't actually clear, you know, Echidna, Thaymine, Behemoth, and times. So there you have it. Some of the potential pros and cons of having access to the Lost Ark API. I see merit in both sides of the argument, but in the end, since we are getting it, all I really hope for is that we use this for good and entertainment. Full copium, I know, but I am excited to see how our web developers who work for free for us design this to get the API info in an informative way. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on Lost Ark getting the API in the comments below. And for my pineapple gang, the secret word for this video is naked. Drop that in the comments if you made it this far. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video for engagement purposes. Help brother out. I love you all. All right, take care, everyone. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.